How are you guys doing today? And thank you for viewing Sun Camper Reviews. Today we are going over the Alpha 30 RDB. Um, this is a Cherokee product, great product. Some of the main features that I like to go over is that it has a two inch wall. So in a Florida market where heating and cooling is a major importance, it gives you some added benefit on there. Uh, some of the other benefits that it comes with is the electric tongue jack, the 20 gallon propane tanks. It also has a fiberglass front cap similar to a boat so you don't have to worry about any kind of delamination on this unit um, really robust this one has a lot of features we're going to go through some of them as we walk in the front so if you just take a panoram down the row here we got a nice big looks like about a 20 foot awning we have in here a battery disconnect and a solar charger this does come equipped with solar panels on the top and it'll tell you what it's charging also in the interior of the camper it'll have another uh, panel that shows you what it's charging at and if we go around the other side here This particular unit is a bunk model and it's a bunk model that will accommodate for your children as they grow um, Comes with an outside kitchen has a whole little entertainment center here You can hook your TV up here have your outdoor music This is an ice maker makes these really cool little ice cubes on there two burner stove got your beer and juice fridge uh, this is a 110 volt fridge, cools in about 25 minutes. The front here walks right into a nice sized bathroom. I'm gonna let you walk in there. Take a look, it's got a nice big sink in there. Plenty of room for your feet in front of the toilet. That door that you see there to the right of the toilet goes out to the main living area. So you have a couple of different accesses to the main living area. We have a nice big glass shower and then it has another access that goes into the master. The master has wardrobe space on both sides of the bed and across the top of the bed. We also have additional storage underneath the bed. We got outlets on both sides of the bed so you can hook up your devices. The little box to the left is so you can get a speaker to take to the pool, automatic plug station there. So you can have a little speaker you can take with you and um, to the, your side there is an exit that goes out to the main living area. So if you want to go out there. Now we're walking into the main living area. We have a U-shaped dinette. This dinette is super nice because you can fit full-size adults on it. It does make a full-size bed. You just lower down the table, move those two cushions down, and you have a full-size bed. You have large amounts of storage underneath. And you have the large sink here, farmhouse style, a three burner stove. The glass piece doubles as extra counter space, so you can use that as extra counter space. You've got a magnetic cutting board on the back, so you can use that if you wanted to make a little uh, meat and cheese tray when you're out camping. You've got a nice amount of storage above. And we have quite a bit of storage and drawers underneath here too. These are the TV mounts that you can use for the outside and also the inside of the camper. This is a 12 volt electric refrigerator so it only takes about 30 minutes for this to cool and be at optimal cooling temperature. Right now it's only running off the 12 volt solar panel and battery that's there so you can see that it's lit up currently. It's already cooling we've had it maybe plugged in for five minutes. This unit does come with two ACs, so for our hot market, you're gonna be able to control your area and keep their kids' area separate so they can control their own space. The couch does fold out to a additional bed, so you have additional sleeping here, and it's got a great viewing angle to the, to the TV. So if you're hanging out, you can see the TV real easy, watch a movie with the family, that you could pull the table out over on the dinette area and make that a nice big couch so everybody can see the TV. You might have noticed that under the TV, you have your controls for your stereo and you have a fireplace set up so that um, you can have some heat if it is a cool, cool day. Take a look at the uh, pantry here. This is behind the TV area and it's massive. You can walk into it. Massive amounts of storage space in there. Enough for at least a five or six person family. And if you look to your right there, that's our whole cluster. That's also the second entry to the camper, but that's our whole cluster. Everything there, it shows you what the battery's charged to. 
and that's your AC, your awnings, your slides, everything. What's also cool about the Arctic Wolf is that this camper comes with a one control where you can run your awnings, your slides, and a bunch of other features like your lights from your phone. So if you wanted to back up and run the start running the slide out, you could, or if you want to turn the lights on or do different things like that, you can do that directly from your phone. Uh, we're going to go into the kids area here. We got a nice farmhouse door. And this is what's kind of unique about this unit. It has full size beds. So as your kids grow, they won't outgrow the camping experience. You know, you can fit adult kids here, 15, 16, six foot tall kids on both. There's storage underneath. There's storage on the outside from there too. And there's plenty of room in here, probably about two feet deep for all their gear, games, movies, you know, whatever they want. They also have USB ports on every bed. So we have USB ports and hookups if they want to hook up a TV or put hook up their USB. The uh, Alpha Wolf also comes equipped with a Wi-Fi um, extender pre-wire. So if you want to put the pre-wire on, you can hook that up so you can have some pre-wire experience so you have a better Wi-Fi connection. If you want to take a panoram from the outside from the current angle you're at there, you'll be able to kind of see what this camper offers. Lots of room. This one weighs uh, 7,114 pounds. So you can pull this with a half ton comfortably, an F-150, uh, Ram 1500, Silverado 1500, even some of the Tahoes and things like that are capable of pulling this unit. Um, if you have any questions about this unit or any of the other units, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to answer any questions for you. We appreciate you watching the video.